We are African journalists and we love reporting on science. We are going to show you how livestock science plays a part in everyday life here in Africa. For many of us in Africa, the first livestock product we use in the day is milk. It is nutritious, delicious and usually available. Livestock scientists are working with dairy farmers whether they have one cow or two cows to improve productivity as well as chains of supply from cow to cup. This is another point in the day of African livestock science. It is about 10 o'clock in the morning and as you can see behind me here you can see livestock and wildlife grazing together and science trying to validate the coexistence between livestock and wildlife and trying to understand, to demystify, to get to make people understand how these two, the wildlife and the livestock, have coexisted over the years. Welcome to the kitchen, a kitchen where meat is being prepared, meat that comes from the African pastoralists. Animal science helps come up with treatment for animal diseases. These days, researchers are developing systems to get the treatment services to the communities who need them most. It is the middle of the day. The sun is scorchy and hot out here. Very sunny. And behind me here in the South Rift Valley of Kenya is the research center. This is where the life of science, as it affects livestock production, happens. Here at this center, researchers are partnering local communities to find solutions to the drought situation. And they have plans to look at how livestock and wildlife can cohabit to improve livelihoods and also protect the environment. It's lunchtime and here I have a full plate of food which I need for my nutrients. Livestock like chicken, goats, cattle must also be fed, but rising costs and climate change are making this a bit more difficult. Livestock science is trying to find new answers for this, for example by developing new feeds from wastes. This means animals will grow fast and be healthy and we keep food on our plates. It's getting close to evening times and there are some chickens behind me. Well, we know that science has contributed a lot to the raising of chickens. We know now, at least from the traditional system of raising chickens, that there are certain things that these chickens pick up, even though the girls go off rearing, they pick up a lot of vegetables, which provides a lot of vitamins and minerals. And in the cities where these are raised on a commercial basis, these poultry farmers pay a whole lot of money to get these vitamins and minerals, and these chickens are getting free. It is 4 o'clock in um, the South Rift Valley area of Kenya and this is the carcass of a cattle that has died as a result of the current flower, uh, drought. It is a terrible sight to see. Um, scientists all over the world are working round the clock to get to the root of the problem so as to stem the effects of other droughts that may arise in the future. This is the end of the busy day in livestock science in Africa. But while we sleep, the computers are analyzing data and help us to find the right way forward for livestock science in Africa. And the last thing that the livestock keepers think is about their animals. Thanks for watching. Now you know how livestock science is with us all day, every day.